Alright, um, Shalom. We we'll praise to Yahweh Shem El Shabbat Shem Rakal Kadash. The one of the apostles at Great Millstone. Salute to you, brothers out there, teaching the word sincerity and truth. Now, what I'm going to do? <clears throat> Give me a second. I'm just watching this, and it's about it's a program on the TV about chariots, and purely chariot sightings and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is the end, man. Let's 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 watch a bit of it. So as we see here, East was taking it serious. The Ministry of Defence, although this took place outside the United Kingdom, was certainly aware of these incidents. In a sense, yes, we were concerned. This is part of NATO. If a structured craft penetrates the sophisticated air defence network with impunity, then yes, self-evidently, this becomes a defence issue. This Are you hearing that? A national security issue. If, if, if there's objects from out of this world that penetrate NATO's security systems, it's a threat. See, it's funny because that when you read um, Revelations 19, that's the, the whole Revelation 19 is, is talking about that. It talks about um, the kings. It talks about the, 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 the Lord coming on a white horse, which is a ship, the made mega ship. And, um, you know, which probably will be half the size of the planet or something like that. We, we know it's going to be big because, you know, Israel's described it as a great mountain. And then there's going to be other, like, chariots involved as well. I don't want to get no adverts on this, so let me just... Yeah. You, know what this t you know what this shit's like, man. Um, so... So, like I was saying, um... Uh, pretty much, man, you're gonna, you're gonna have a... How can I pull it, man? Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah. Yeah, they, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna come on the, um... The chariots, other, you know, angels following him, and then he says it's gonna basically take the beat, the kings of the earth, and the beast came to fight him that sat on the horse. So we know, we know what what that's talking about. Um, you know, it's talking about those um those those ships, and we just we just you just heard on the on the documentary how he just said out uh, pretty much that. Um, and anything that comes into the airspace of NATO is, is you know, and it's unidentified or it's, it's it's just not of this world or it's, you know, what is this? It's a threat. So, and it just showed the Belgium government they're taking this. Seat. This is not. This is not um, a joke. No, this is serious stuff. This is serious business, man. So that's what that is. And then, um, <clears throat> like I said, when you read uh, Revelations 19, it goes all into that, man. It tells you how the Lord's going to come back and invade this place. And it also says in, in Revelations 1 and 7 that it comes with clouds and every eye shall see, even them which pierced him. So what we're seeing now is that there's so much sightings that they're putting it on the television, just normal TV, which he, they've been putting shows like this up there, but you know, really, there's there's things that are coming out now. Like, for example, mainstream news, America admitted, yep, we're watching ships and et cetera, et cetera, and all that. They admitted they got the records of them, and it was on the CNN and all of that. And there's been videos where they've been out there in the daytime. Okay. So that's pretty much what that is. And um, so, so you know what we're seeing. What we're pretty much seeing is um, 
the fulfillment of the scriptures, man. And the scriptures also says that the heathen are dismayed at the signs of heaven. So, you know, when they look up there, they're getting messed up now. Like we say, the what you, the Illuminati and all of that, they know what the hell these things are. You know, it's just like the average peons that don't know. Okay, so people are seeing things and they're reporting it to the government and. And the government's got their files, and they've been having these sightings for how how long? So anyway, I mean, what we're seeing and what's going to happen is more sightings, and the the final sighting is the 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 final curtain call, if you will. The final showdown. You know, like you had that band in Europe and had that song, the final countdown. That's what it's going to be. You know, it's going to be one of them situations where. <clears throat> I didn't want to film the adverts on here. This is on, you know, when you air something, sometimes I want to take the video down anyway, so I'm just trying my luck with that anyway. So when it comes back on, I'm going to put put it back on. Then I'll close out. Because, um, you know, it's just, it's, uh, you know, we've got to put these things up there, man, because what's the name of this, by the way? New, it's new as well. Excuse me, UFOs in Europe. It's got some more, but I can't see the rest of the title at the moment. They've got databases, man. They've got databases. They've got vaults with sightings on them and all of that, man. You know, they've got... Um, you've got um, Morak. I think it's Morak, a website you can... It's like a, a database, a national database... Then you got the, the British National Gov site, you know where they've got the vaults and the records. That's another database site because that site's also got like icons and stuff on it, or books of the uh, Middle Ages and all that. Okay. So that's what that is. Um, This, this is taking, I don't know what's going on here. Long set of adverts, but um, <clears throat> it doesn't matter anyway. But it also says that as birds fly, so shall the Lord defend Jerusalem. So, you know, this is part of like um, Esau Edom's kingdom getting terrorized by things that he can't explain. Because he likes to be somebody that tries to he wants to be able to explain everything in a carnal manner. You know, he wants to be able to play, you know, God, if you will, but he can't do that. Because there's just so much he, he, that is messing him up. Let me put it back on here now. Determined to resolve the situation, the Belgian Air Force were ready to scramble two F-16 fighter jets. <sighs> There will only be scrambled to investigate a sighting that has been confirmed by police and backed up by a definite contact on ground radar. In the meantime, the populace was left to wonder, are the UFOs of extraterrestrial origin or something more earthly, such as a helicopter? So there's, there's, there's been so much sightings that you saw think tanks, and this is not just all in America, or this is all over the world. They're taking it serious, NATO, secret services, all of that. 233 sightings. For the first six months of the year 90, we have 315 sightings, which is a lot. One theory was that the whole Belgian wave was a form of mass hysteria. People read about the two policemen and then started seeing imaginary UFOs themselves. This theory could also explain why so many people report triangular shaped objects. When you get these reports from police officers now, they're always on these triangular shaped objects. Now you've got to, again, say thing, trace that back. Where did the idea of these big triangular shaped objects come from? Well, I remember as a 13 year old 
By the way, you got different um, shapes of chariots. You know? Because even when, um, you know, uh, Zechariah seen it, given a description of the, the cubics and all that, how big it was and the size. And then you had Ezekiel, he said a, a wheel within a wheel as well. So, you know, they've got different dimensions. <clears throat> anyway, with that, I'm going to say shallow one. I'm just checking this documentary out. Um, you know, it's a, you know, we're going to do more on the chariots because that's how we're getting out of here. You know, in that spook manner. So with that, I'm going to say uh, shallow one.